When we look at sequence similarity and compare it, this particular virus not only made use of point mutation, but it also rearranges its genome a little bit. And looking at the patterns on how it has been rearranged and point mutations, we are well, we're very confident to say that this follows what we would expect from a naturally emerging and evolving organism. Going a little bit further, we also can not only look at the tree, but also look at where geographically the strains have been sampled. What we see is that the strain is evolving slower than it moves across. We get something that people call the emergence of strains. Those strains, to be honest, are not that different from one another. They have a few mutations different, so it's kind of a stretch in my personal opinion to call them strains, but we can see already some geographic diver uh, differences emerging from this particular outbreak. If we look at how infective these are or how deadly, we see no differences. So although biologists will say, yes, we see some differences in the evolution, in this particular case, we haven't seen anything um, affecting some of the consequences we fear about.